a little bit of where Pierre Van Oydonk was at Forest yeah. with me getting getting sold. And then the turkey experience was... Well, you left us with a bit of breath. Yeah. You I left mean, us with 40,000 at the fucking yeah, airport. Yeah, 5,000 at the airport. Yeah. Hysteria. Yeah, it's yeah. hysteria. Yeah. Mass hysteria. Van Oydonk's <laughs> throwing his toys out, Pram. There's yeah. clog, clogs flying everywhere. He's not happy. Your missus is your missus is hiding in bushes. Oh, After she's having to hide in bushes touring. and all sorts. It was <laughs> it was madness. But what I've got to tell you is I've got to tell you first my first open training session with the team. So um, it's it's at the stadium. The stadium's changed now. It's a brand new stadium, but it was a it's an old old stadium. But it was you know loved by the the Trabzon fans. So we get we get to the ground. It was an evening training session. So about uh, half seven, quarter to eight. So we're in the dressing room. And he names the, all the, the lads have to line up in the in the tunnel. So it's, it's a full house, like thirty thousand stadium. It's so a full it's house. Free to get in. Just, just I, I don't know whether they're paying or not, but it's a full house. It, the stadium's been full since five. <laughs> <laughs> it's tra- this is training. <laughs> this is a training session, open air. So it's like wow, buzzing, like you know, just my first interaction really with the fans at the stadium. So I'm thinking, well, wow. so obviously they put me last in the line so we're lining up in the corridor waiting for it all to kick off so I'm excited like you know what I mean so anyway this little old fella walks past me with a rope and he's backing up with the rope and he's like fighting like a tug of war I'm thinking what and the rope's going round the corner so I'm thinking what the hell's he pulling like <laughs> what's on the end of this rope <laughs> so anyway it's some big bag of balls <laughs> yeah some, some bag of balls anyway so as bad. he's going down he's, he's, he's pulling down and he's pulling face and he's cursing in Turkish <laughs> Parky's Parky's on end right neck yeah <laughs> oh jeez what comes up what comes up beside me is a goat with a rope around his neck and the goat's trying to back up and he's dragging it down, he's skidding along the hooves. <laughs> he's just seeing that he's got shit, that. Hey, he's shitting in the fucking <laughs> corridor, the fucking, it was all going on. So he gets to about five lads from the front. Next minute, a fella comes past me with the fucking sharp man, the big knife. I'm thinking, post match me. What the fuck's going on here? <laughs> so anyway, he finally gets this goal out onto the pitch. No, this is, so the pitch is there. So as you come out of the dressing room at this jump angle, you can't really see where, what's happening around the, around the corner. So anyway, the line's getting shorter. So it's, it's me and a lad in front of me now. So he goes out, he goes around the corner, does whatever he does, lights go off, all the stadium lights, spotlight. Comes on for the big dog coming for the big the the big mad coming on (laughs) for the big dog the big the big dog the big dog's here right (laughs) anyway so as I as I walk out so they they usher me for come come so as I go out and there there's the fucking goal throat cut legs flapping so I said what do I do so they said put your put your finger in the blood and put it on your forehead well when I done that. Put it on my forehead. And fireworks were going off. All the lights in the stadium, big cheer went up. And it was like, you become one of them. <laughs> so they made a sacrifice for the, the arrival yes, of Kevin like Campbell. The arrival of Kevin Campbell. And uh, somebody else got done. We have an eye going to got to knock the forest. He's, he's on strike. And the poor goal got the throat cut. <laughs> It weren't, listen, I was having a, it weren't a good day, you can imagine. So, but you had to put your finger in the, in the neck and put the ah. uh, blood on your boots as well. And I had like... I, white, you I wear was, white boots. Uh, yeah, it was cream, <laughs> like cream pubers. So they were starting thinking, they're staying my new boots. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You imagine blood stains on your new boots. Oh, just, oh God, is this going to go well or what? Finished training and that, and I was talking to a couple of the lads who spoke kings, the current... Uh, coach now Unal was part of that team fantastic guy fantastic player so he was telling me you know it's ritual you know don't think nothing of it you know you, you just you're, you're just being welcomed by the, the, the fans and all that kind of thing so so that was interesting I bet the goat I bet the goat the goat weren't happy go, the goat weren't the happy, happy. The definitely like, definitely I don't fucking sign anyone with the transfer <laughs> <laughs> he's carrying he's, he's carrying him back <laughs> Eedy, meedy, meedy, right, you're getting it. Oh shit! The flight's not 
<laughs> oh man! <laughs> uh, the, only, the only way that could have got any better is if you get the goat. Like, you just take it out. <laughs> you got your wash bag. Oh, no, no, no. But here's the thing: that sacrifice that gets eaten the night. They don't leave it to waste. Oh no! See, I don't. That gets that feeds that feeds the poor. I don't mind that. Then. I don't. Yeah, I don't like at least put it to good use. You know, put it to good yeah. use at least. Do you know what I mean? But get a no, curry it, out of it. Yeah, it helps feed the poor. <laughs> get a curry. That's why. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, I don't eat. I don't eat red meat. You see, so I couldn't. I don't. I don't do. You that didn't anyway. partake. No, I don't eat red meat anyway. Uh, th- then you didn't. Yeah, since I, I stopped eating red meat since I was nineteen. Right. So I found out because I used to like steak, but it used to make me sluggish because oh. it takes forty <laughs> hours for the body to break it down. So I just used to feel sluggish on it. And I told the, the doctors at Arsenal at the time and they said, okay, stop eating and see how you feel. And I felt much better. Yeah. Without it, so. My body is constantly breaking red meat. <laughs> <laughs> it's only halfway through one steak and it's on a fucking back leg. <laughs> Another one, long, long it on. Another one. <laughs> so, you know, so obviously you, you finish with that. And you, you, the, the weird thing was you don't, shower at the ground that you all go back to the training ground to shower oh, when, even is, when you've trained at the, at even, the when you've, you've, even when you've played at the stadium after a game like after it. a game so I've got this this is quite ironic so my first game of the, the my first game I'm playing we're playing a, a, a team called Gaziantep so we're in camp stadium on the Wednesday stadium's yeah. full yeah from midday this is a eight o'clock kickoff, half seven, eight o'clock kickoff. Stadium full at midday. So we've all been there. Start the game. We must have hit the post and the crossbar eight times. Don't matter what, the ball's not going in. Breakaway goal, 89th minute, bang, goal, one nil. We lose, one nil. So I get in the dressing room and I'm thinking, you know, where's the towels we're gonna to shower? They said, no, we, we shower back at the ground. So you take off your kit, you put your kit down, put your flip flops on, shorts and, and a, a t-shirt. And everyone's like, just waiting around. And I'm, I'm thinking, well, let's get a move on at least. Let's go, <laughs> let's go back, you know, cause I'm new to all this. So anyway, I walk out the dressing room and I go up towards the end where the main doors are. Chief of police, guy's there. No, you stay here. So I look around, what's going on? It's like, it's like war going on outside. Water cannons, blowing people down the road. (laughs) 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 Blowing people down. Rubber bullets. Like you in Spain. Rubber bullets, everything. It's it's a war going on. So I said, what are are they? what are they fighting the opposition? He said, no, they're trying to get to the, you guys, the team. Shit, I said, pardon? <laughs> he said, yeah, they're, they're trying to get in the stadium to, to, to get to the team. Because you got beat one nil. Because you got beat one nil. I said, all right. <laughs> so back to the dressing room I go. He said, you never believe what's going on out there, guys. I said, we know. <laughs> <laughs> we know. So Aaron up, Aaron 15. Knock at the door. Come on, guys. So we get on the coach and all the boys get under the closing the curtains. So where the stadium was situated, it was like on a hill. So you go down to the go down the hill, you get to the end and then you turn a right, but you can see the black sea is on your left hand side as you do a right, it's on your left. So they're closing all the curtains. We don't close the curtains. So I said, why? So as we've gone down, armor vehicles, about eight outriders, shoot it up. <laughs> shoot it up. <laughs> as we turn. You know the overpass? The fans are there with paving stones and everything for the coach. <laughs> so what the outriders would do, the outriders would ride ahead, rubber bullets, so they drop it. The coach goes past, slow down, jump onto the next. There's about six overpasses. Jesus, peace. Jesus Christ. Everyone. Welcome to Turkey. Welcome to, no, no, we're not finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> you slow down. You slow down, don't, don't rush this story. This is quite a long story, but it's a good story. So we get past the six, and where the training ground is situated, it's right by the, the water. Look, there's one way in and one way out. As the coach turns, because the, the armor vehicles and that don't need to come down there. So the coach turns to go to the training ground, 
it's like a stretch of about 400 yards. There's about a thousand fans there. Scarfed up, hats, bars, you name it, knives, everything. Giving it all that to us on the banging on, because the wind, the curtains are closed, but I'm looking at like, <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of the lot just reading papers. The rest like, of the are just like chilling out, uh, it's normal. I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on? You snap, you know what I mean, or whatever. <laughs> so we get to the to the gate of the training facility. Two guys there with the big guns. Gate opens and the, the crowd start um, are back, like, you know, and the flares are going and they're chanting, whatever. Big door slams. Coach pulls up, so we go in. And at the training ground, we, you have your own bedrooms at their training ground. So everyone's got their bedrooms and stuff. So you share. So I shared with a, uh, a lad called Peter Milishevsky, who was a Macedonian national goalkeeper. And he was a, a lovely lad. So I said, Peter, are you not getting changed? He said, no. He said, I'm taking my time. He says, I'll take my time. I said, well, I'm going to get showered, mate. So I'm, there I am. I'm getting showered and shower off and I'm getting dressed to, to leave. And the lads are bunkering down for the night. They're, like. So I said, why are you leaving? They said, well, where are you going to go? How are you going to get parked? <laughs> so that's they said, you're going to get parked, get parked in my car. I said, no, you, you won't. <laughs> I said, I'm telling you, you get past in the car. <laughs> they said, no, Kevin, please don't. Anyway, I said, suit yourself. If you want to be bunkered in here, that's your business. So I've got me bag, I've gone down the stairs. I'm, I'm going home. So I get down the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> And the, the, the masseurs, they're tuned into everything. And they speak great English, Shafiq especially. Murat and Shafiq. Shafiq goes to me, Kev, where are you going? Some guy, no? He said, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. He said, Kev, just stay here. He said, we might be here for the night. I said, there's no way I'm fucking gonna be here for the night. I'm going home. So I'm getting in my car and I'm going. So he fucking started chasing around. Where's the manager? Where's the coach? Where's this? That? He's going to fucking leave. So I get out. I get in my car. And I go to the gates. And the two guys there at the gate. And they're like. <laughs> and I'm like, fucking open the gate. <laughs> open the gate. For open God's the sake. gates. Open the gates. <laughs> Little did I, little did I, little did I, I know. Like John Snow at the like wall. Game of Thrones. Right. <laughs> open, open the gates. Open the gates. Anyway, the, the gate opened. And I think they were shocked. They were shocked that someone was coming out. <laughs> so as I've driven past, just past the gate, it was one big long gate. As I've driven past the gate and the back of the cars got past, jump. The gate shut. <laughs> That's on, it. It's on his own. It's decision. Yeah. Right. He's on now. Just as the gate shut, I re I realise maybe this isn't such a fucking good idea because Rivers. they start coming and descending where the car was now. So I tinted window on the window on that, knocking on it with the flipping with the with the bar and all that. So I've wound <laughs> the, the best of the machete. So I've, I've wound the window down a little bit. I've said, yeah, what's happening? Can I help you, mate? And he looked in and he said something and whist whistled and he said, blah, blah, and they all started cheering or whatever. And he started partying and everybody's looking at, hey, yeah, banging on the car and all that kind of thing. Anyway, as I, the car started going, I'm like, you're right, guys, no problem. Like, they don't need, they don't understand me. <laughs> like, nice one, guys, you know, the fist, I'm fist bumping guys out the window. As I get past them, the flares started going off. Oh, they're charting, blah, 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 walking back towards them. So they walked me up to the road. I've left, got on the, got into my apartment. They were stuck there the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were stuck. They talk about sort yourself out, Kevin. But you know, I did say, yeah, if you'd have come with me, I'm the new kid on the block, you could have gone through. Uh, listen, it was madness, mate. It this, was madness. And this is against the, the, the team that you mentioned it were against. This weren't even a massive game. Like, you know, like it, it, there's bigger games in it, no, it. Like I said on the last pod, I'm going to give you some, some scale. You got Fenerbahce, Galatasaray, and Besiktas in Istanbul. They're the three big teams in Istanbul. The biggest team outside is Trabzon. Trabzonspor. 
in the papers, the top papers, each of the big four teams have to fill four pages a day. That's why five aside, you get marked. <laughs> Believe that. I'm, being, I'm that. having fucking that. that. <laughs> yeah, he gives you a complex. He's only giving me a fucking six. Do you know what I mean? It was like, and the thing is, you travel with the press everywhere you go. <clears throat> so you see the guys that could have their pictures in the paper and all that, and you see the guys who were give, giving you bad marks in a five aside. <laughs> and you're like looking them up and down, thinking, fucking bang out of order. <laughs> you know, I've never felt so flipping <clears throat> controlled. Because they control the media, control you out there. So they had a radio station 20 years before, you know what I mean? This, this is fanaticism like you wouldn't believe. So for the likes of myself going out there and, you know, playing my first game, wh whatever happened, it was going to be good for me mm. because it was totally different to what, what happened in England. It was more intense. It was, the scrutiny was a lot more than England. I was, I was surprised because I thought it'd be pretty easy, you know what I mean? It might be easy, but no, 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 no. It was, it was seriously good. And I, I remember coming back, I don't want to jump too far, but I remember coming back and saying to the lads at Everton, watch out for Turkey in the next World Cup, mate. I'm telling you, watch out for them. And they finished third. The only team to beat them in the World Cup was Brazil, who won mm. it. Only team to beat them, they finished third. So they had some, and, and they had some of the exports who left there to come to here. Yeah, Hakan Shukur, Okan, um, Two Guy, who was at Blackburn, fantastic players. They were all part of one team at, at Galatasaray. I mean, I, so when, what, what, what? <clears throat> when them gates shut behind you, yeah. did you regret that initial decision? Like, was it, because obviously that, you might call it naivety. You might no, call it. No, it weren't it, naive. It weren't naive. It weren't naive, weren't naive because just, you know what? You were I, just going. No, I, I, I'm I, from Brixton, man. No, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that element as well yeah. because you know what? I, I've always there's a bit of stub. You have to be stub. Centre forwards have to be stub. Oh, I. But you, for me, it's a bit of. <clears throat> Why is everybody hiding? We've got to confront this thing. If we're going to deal with it, sometimes you've got to confront so it. So it's from that perspective. From that is. perspective, it's front it up. Yeah. But let me just tell you this. When that gate shut, <laughs> <laughs> the, the two guys with the guns wouldn't come out. <laughs> let alone me. There I am in a VW GTI, flat out windows. <laughs> Proper Brixton kid. <laughs> and when the gate shut, I thought, oh, fuck. <laughs> because you know what? Oh, oh, fuck. Because look, they're all starting to descend on the car now. I mean, I mean, I could be involved. Because you don't, I don't know. They could come and just do the windows in, couldn't they? They could do anything. But then, that's when my driving skills will come to the fore. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like Skittles. <laughs> It would have had to have been like Skittles, man, you know what I mean? It would have had to have been like Skittles. You could know you're going to see fucking James Bond's part. Yeah, yeah, big armored, time. Armored car. Yeah, and big time, mate. It's flipping Batman, you know, the bits that come out the side. It, it was scary. When, you know, when I look at, back at it now, I think, what the fuck was I doing? Yeah. Did what? you ever no hear fear. any stories of, like, what they would have done to you if... Oh, no, we'll, well, we'll get to that. Oh, we'll, sorry, we'll get to all bits like that. <laughs> because you know what? Remember, this is my first game. So I've had one training session. Whereabouts are you in the league? Well, this is the first game. So we lost oh, the first, sorry, game. first game. So that was the first yeah, game. Sorry. So 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 we so obviously we lost that. So that's put them on a downer. So it was a matter of, you know, are we gonna start picking up points and stuff? And we did we started picking up points. And I wanna get to the first real big game was Galatasaray, the Alessami N. Do you remember Welcome to Hell? Just yeah, just and all that. Just I'm not interrupting you, Kev, but what time up the next day did the lads get out? <laughs> well, they, well, well no, the last one's gone. But it like no, well, I got into training. The next, tell me, it's still the there. Next morning, I feel sorry for this game. Ah, yeah, because they went to the training ground, didn't yeah. they? Oh, so it's at the training ground, you see. So I I got in for training the next morning because you have cool down and warm down. They were there. <laughs> Breakfast <laughs> work. How did you get? How did you get out? With it, with it expected, that's the great escape. Forget West Brom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> how did you get out? <laughs> with it expected you this morning. Girl. Oh, yeah. How yeah. did you get out? Yeah. So you know, lads are like, you're in one piece. Devil Vrugan at Croatian international. I can't never forget him saying to me. Says Kev, I've been here three years. 
they'd fucking lynch me, he said. <laughs> they would lynch me. You come here. I said, it's a brother thing. <laughs> I said, Vuga, it's a brother thing. He said, it must be. He said, fucking what? He was going in some, some Croatian. And he was swearing because he said, my goodness, is I've had to sleep here. My missus with the little ones at home. <laughs> and I'm getting pelters from the missus. I can't, I'm putting it out the window so she can hear the child. And, oh, you're just playing that. That's on TV or something. <laughs> you got major, you're you're right. major problem. You're major, out, you're major, out, you're major, 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 major. You need grossing bolts like Campbell. Yeah, yeah, of course you are, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it was mad, it was mad. So and then, you know, you. it was weird because with with Trabzon, because Trabzon's up by the Georgian border, by the Black Sea, everything's a flight. So we had to we fly hour and a half to Istanbul, and this was a Saturday before a game. So I'm thinking, right, okay, massive game. So we fly in. Uh, did you pick any results up? Yeah, we'd pick results up. Yeah. We're like, I think we're at the time we're like six in the table. Mm-hmm. So we've 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 caught up a little bit. So Galatasaray at the Alice and Mien. Their team, Tafarel in goal. You got Bulant, you got um, Okan, Emery, um, Haji. Georgi Haji. Georgi Haji, Hakan Shakur. Um, they had a top Dimitrescu, Popescu. They had a fantastic squad. Real, real good team. So it was like, okay, we 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 train we trained for them. We knew because they they were a pressing team under Fatih Terry. They pressed high, so we thought, all right, we know. So get there the Saturday Saturday day, thinking you know we're just going to go to the hotel and we're just going to chill out. No, get to the hotel. <clears throat> the Galatasaray band were there, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> waiting for us, keeping you up. <laughs> Not this afternoon, right? So the coach turns up. So we get in, check in, and we're going to a Trabs on Sport function in the afternoon. In the games that night? No, the games the next night. Oh, sorry, yeah. They... But normally you'd go there and rest, wouldn't you? You'd go there, chill out. So anyway, we go to a Trabs on event. We get to the event about four o'clock. We leave the event at 10 o'clock. There's pictures, there's this. We've not even eaten properly. So who's at the event? Trabzon fans. Right. So Because the- remember, the Trabzon, the fans are all over Turkey. Right. And the chances that they get to actually see the team are few and far between. Right. Because they'd have to fly. Well, so if it's an hour so, and a half fly, it's a fucking long old Exactly. Time. And then even if you, you get a flight back, it's only 30,000 stadium. Mm. 30,000 stadium, there's about 40,000 in there, trust me. <laughs> it's packed to the rafters. So you don't you don't get an opportunity to, to, to see the team. So they do these events so everyone and can see. And they the big uh, games, like the Galatasaray games. And, but like, they're, yeah, they're before the Besiktas and yeah. all that, so the team anyway. So we leave there at 10 o'clock, we get back. We're scrambling at like half 11. Band still going, it's been a changeover. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's been a changeover. <laughs> Because the big lad with the drum is now slim. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. All the cars still, are... Pl- still the same technique. Still the same technique, doing when the horns are going and all the cars are playing their part. <laughs> this is going on all night. No problem, no danger. <laughs> Crazy. Sleep. I, I don't sleep a lot, but when I do sleep, listen, out. They could have been in the room. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you, Johnny. I'm gone. I'll, I'll I don't sleep it. a lot, but when I sleep, I'm gone. I'll Dead I, to the world. I'll, I'll, I can sleep on a galloping edge of Right, no. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, get up the next morning. Some of the lads look like they haven't slept a wink. That fucking band outside, you know what I mean? They're giving it that that band outside. So I pulled the um, masseur, Shafiq. I said, Shafiq, did I... Do they, is it rotation? Yes. Heavy rotation. Shifts. Shift. <laughs> Shift. <laughs> he said, in the night, they change twice. <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine, I'm like, really, Shafiq? He said, they want to make sure <coughs> Galatash have every advantage. So every advantage. <laughs> Imagine signing up for that role. Because I'm sure, John, yeah. you, uh, when you were, uh, uh, Chris, you were at the hotel, it, somebody done the fire alarm. 
<laughs> at some stage, a fire alarm goes off and you've all got to go out. Yeah. Well, fire alarm was going off. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That was fire alarm was going off, the band was playing, cars were honking. People were trying to get at the chef to fucking do the food. You name it, they were trying to do it. You got hear the fire alarm for the food. Fire alarm from the band. Fucking band were louder than the fire alarm, mate. That was the rhythm, bro. We thought that was just a mix. You know what I mean? That was a mix with the fire alarm going. It was incredible, but the, the, the police, the, the chief and the, the, the fire people know, so they know what to come quick and just sort it out and all that. But about three times the fire alarm went off in the night no problem come there thing gone can you imagine no, no. nobody wants to stay where the team stay because they know they're going to be up all night <laughs> <laughs> so obviously we're at breakfast next morning that the band's still going so we, we, we're there talking so we go for a walk you know, some of the band members are following. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you. I'm surprised you, you actually went for a walk. Don't go for a walk because it's it's the, it's the ritual. We tend to go for the a whole walk. team. Your whole team, yeah, so coaching staff and the band. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, getting away from us, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> I would have thought if, if they're after them, they had advantage. I thought they might fucking. You know, like if you're at the back, they all the best. Try the strike, you. The striker's gone fucking missing. Like, <laughs> Where's Jeff? Well, just kidnap him, mate. No, yeah, no, hey, listen, I'm not saying that can't happen, but no. no. They, they, come on, they play fair. Yeah. They play fair over there, right? <laughs> so we come back from the walk, because an evening kickoff. So, right, lads. Get as much sleep as you can. Was the shout? <laughs> uh, just look, everyone just goes, really? <laughs> you know what I mean? So the lads go to their rooms, chill out, come back, names of the team, etc. So it's time to get on the bus. And still there. <laughs> <laughs> arm, arm, armor vehicles, outriders. So we get on the coach. As soon as the coach door shuts and the convoy starts taking off, about 50 Galatas Rife fans come out the side, do the windows in on the bus. Putting the rubber bullets down the alley at them. That's like, just you know smash I mean? the windows. Yeah, because but it's double glazed. Yeah. So they do the outside windows, ping the windows. It's, Game on now. I'm like, yeah, we're well, yeah, enjoying it. Like, oh, just game, little... no, but it's game mode now. I've seen it on TV, you know, Welcome to Hell and all that, but now I'm in it. Yeah. So, you think it got you up for the game? Or... Oh, big time. Oh, oh my right. God. Well, it, it's either you're going to go, yeah. Oh, well, don't fancy this, or you're going to go, let's have it, guys, you know. Well, let's have it. In, in Krakow uh, last weekend, I, I went with the old <laughs> <laughs> damn tools, didn't you? Yeah. I didn't think, let's have it. I, I, <laughs> Chip me fans. But if you're on the pitch, John, it'd be different. Oh yeah. You know, when you're on the pitch, you kind of, well, you kind of you think you're safe. Yeah. You think if you had double, you well. double glazing round, you'd well, be I'm, all right. Well, I'm going to tell you a story. Well, this same game, <laughs> I'm going to tell you something that happened, and it shows that you're not safe. So, all the way, you know, the Galatasaray right fans are there. That give giving it all this. We're going to kill you. That get to the stadium, get in, get into the dressing room warming up and do massage and all that kind of things so we get the we get the team together our chairman comes in our president comes in doors open six bodyguards either side he walks in and I'm getting massaged so I said Shafiq Sh Sh tell me what you're saying tell me what you're saying so he's had a big bet on us the president has <laughs> yeah with their chairman Oh. <laughs> he said, I, I bet him. He said, if you win, I'm going to make sure you're good. I'm going to look after you all. So make sure you beat these bastards. We're in their home. Make sure you beat them. Heidi Baylor, that means, come on, guys, come on. Heidi. So all the, all the boys are like, Steve, come on. Heidi Baylor, come, Heidi Baylor, Heidi Baylor, Heidi Baylor. come on, boys. <laughs> so we, we all go out. So at the Alessami end, where the pitch is, he used to come out the ground behind the goal. Yeah. And all the riot police are there with their um, shields. Shields. Because all these, def all the stuff's coming in. There's darts, there's <laughs> full <laughs> fucking <laughs> darts. Yeah. Not bottles of gold. No, no. no. no darts, there's darts, there's ball there's like, um, You know, um, uh, bouncing balls, li like little balls. Ball bearings? No, no, not ball bearings, but, you Marbles. know, bouncy balls. These little balls that bounce. I'd be more worried about the darts, Kevin. <laughs> no, 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 but there's nails in the bouncy ball. <laughs> <laughs> there's nails in the bouncy ball. 
razor blades in them, and they're, they're getting lobbed from the crowd. And I'm there, and I'm thinking, what's, what's all this bouncing off? And they're bouncing off and going on the floor. And to be fair, there's a little old boy there with a bucket. He's there picking all the bits up. What, and put, checking them back up? Put, put, <laughs> they are lads, we <laughs> love. He's, he's, he's there <laughs> collecting everything. So I get on the, I get on the pitch, and something says to me, just turn around. He was taking them back to the fucking crowd. <laughs> no. For when we come off. <laughs> Round two. When we come off. <laughs> reload. <laughs> yeah, reload. It was that, honestly. Pick them up, give them back, and they reload. For, so when we're coming off, to, 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 all coming off the, the riot shields when we finish warm up. So anyway, when it's match time, there's no balls coming up. So we get out onto the pitch. Hostile atmosphere. Trabs on fans. Trabs on got about an area of fifteen thousand fans because they travel heavy. Trabs on fans. The rest of all guys said, "Welcome to hell." I'm giving it all that kind of thing. <laughs> but, but anyway, we start the game. We go one nil up. I score the goal. One nil up. I think, yeah, come on, mate. Yeah. Stadium fucking sound of whistles going on. All sorts. Anyway, they get through and they have a shot towards the goal. The ball doesn't even get close to the line. Our guy Recep clears it off, clears it away from the line. The linesman gives a goal. No. Well, let me tell you now, <laughs> there was nearly a riot in the stadium. Can you imagine? It's not even near yeah. the line. Never in doubt. It's never even in doubt. Clears it before the line and he gives a goal. Referee gives it that. The lads are not playing anymore. They've gone down. They're crying. They're just, come on, lads. We could beat these guys. We could beat these guys. No, Campbell, this referee is a prostitute. Is this Campbell? <laughs> Campbell. <laughs> oh, but, but they pronounced the C as a J, so it was Jamble, and I was fucking happy about that. I? I was really happy about that. What's the Jamble? Referee saying? Down tools, we're not playing. They, they said we're not playing. And I'm going up, come on. I said we could beat them, come on, anyway. But must be a delay of about 15 minutes. Oh, she actually stopped? The they stopped, stopped, the lads are stopped. They're down to all, we're not playing anymore. That was the, no one ever like. <laughs> so I said, come on, so the manager, come on. And like, come on guys, you know, Heidi Baylor, come on guys. Anyway, so we thought, all right, we saw we play on. <laughs> play on, I score again in the game. This is, this is first half, I score again, 2-1, half time. Jambo bags. Jambo! Got a double! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jambo has a double. In the Alessandro Yen, so half time we get in the dressing room. Well, I'll tell you why at half time, the things were coming over hard, boy. <laughs> he had two buckets. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So get in the dressing room, had a, a good team talk, because it was Gordon, Gordon Milne and Ian Wilson was like our manager and assistant manager. Spoke, both spoke English. His Turkish was all right as well. Both of their Turkish was all right. <coughs> so speak to me in English and Kev, keep, keep the guys level, keep them level. I said, guys, we've prepared. We've prepared for this. He said, we know what they've got. We can beat them here. So, got out second half and we systematically, honestly, took them apart. We did. We beat them 5-3. I got that trick. And honestly, it was, an amazing experience to do them at the Alice Ami Yen, beat them five three, Trabs on, hold Trabs on end. I promised this disabled kid my shirt, so I gave him, uh, gave the kid my shirt and stuff like that. We're probably on the on the pitch milking it for like half an hour. <laughs> so, so you won the league. Yeah, yeah, well, it, no, I mean this is. Look, I've played in some big games, mate, but this is, we're talking serious stuff out there, mate. Honestly. <laughs> Open stuff. them gates. Open the gates. Out there. Get me out there, mate. So, <laughs> you must have got at least, at least six home defeats. <laughs> it's <laughs> worth. <laughs> okay, listen, money in the bank, man. I'm telling you, did money you get, in the did bank. the chairman where you're in then? Did you get well, uh... well, here's the funny thing. So, we get, finally gets back into the dressing room. I've got one masser on this leg and one masser on that leg. Hat trick, can I? I scored a hat trick. <laughs> you know, you're, 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 you should have had one in middle as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, 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 the brother don't get down like that, all right? I don't get down like that, right? So, so the six bodyguards comes in, the chairman <clears throat> comes in, got a serious look on his face. He looks at me and he winks at me and he's got serious talk and he's talking in Turkish. Saying, my Turkish ain't great, obviously, at the time. 
Then he says, look guys, to show you some appreciation, he says, where's all the, all the staff? The staff, the masseurs and the kit guys and all that, so he got them up. So my legs were like left alone, <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> the chairman, so I'm like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> Four thousand dollars each. I'm thinking for the staff. For the staff each. I'm thinking here we He's go. Going, I'm gonna Boy, it. here <laughs> we go. I like this. <laughs> I'm thinking where's ours? So he said no. We we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you guys at the the ground tomorrow. Good night. Sleep that night. So we we're gonna see about that. <laughs> so great. Everyone's buzzing now. The kitmen have been waiting, and you know once you wear the staff in. You're happy because they're going to do anything for you. So we, I shower, get ready, walk up to the front. Who's there? Chief of police? No. So I said, why not? And he pointed outside there. It was a full scale riot going on. Full scale. Line of police, cordon here. 15, 20 yards down the road, the mob, Kansas Road mob. Every so often, so they, they can see me through the glass. Every so often, one will make a bolt, running. Plastic bullet, go down, get up, go back. More flares. Every so often, another one will pop out, take him down with a rubber bullet. Coming for you, like? Yeah, they, they can see. He can see them pointed. Well, you get that one behind the screen. Yeah. All right, no. <laughs> no, 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 Come on. Listen, uh, listen, I, I ain't playing that shit. <laughs> I got away with one at our training, Granny, with our fans. I ain't messing about in Istanbul. It's a big place. We ain't dancing in hell. Okay, give some respect, you know what I mean? Give them some respect. But I watched this for like an hour going on. And then next minute, gone. They just vanished. So all the lads, we got on the coach. We're going to the airport. Again, armor vehicles, outriders. So I'm, I'm, I was on the left hand side of the coach. No curtains drawn, because we won now. So, <laughs> <laughs> so as, I'm, as we're going to the airport, I notice a, a Merc pull up. I, I kind of looked, and the guy looked at me and went, and he wound the window down, and he started getting out getting onto the, the, car's moving, so he's getting onto the the door. So I'm like to the lads, oh fuck it, oh, here we go, lads, <laughs> hold up, hold up. It's night time, so all I saw through the night lights, from the lights, was the glint of the gun when he, pulled the, when he pulled the steel. So as he's pulled the steel, I thought, he's got a fucking shooter, I've gone down. <laughs> He's got a fucking shooter. <laughs> Did the lads understand the, that? The lad, the fucking bank, of course they understood. They were, they were pissing themselves laughing. So you can imagine, I'm down on the floor and I'm looking up and not everybody else is just pointing at me laughing. So I'm like, what's going on? It's only a traps on fan, he's emptying his clip. Oh, shooting in the air. Shooting in the air. Fucking police, they had no problem. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to know? <laughs> Listen, gosh, where man. I come from, if somebody's pulling, they're gonna use it. So I'm fucking getting flat, mate. I'm getting down, right? Brixton in the, style. In the, in the middle of the. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I've gone blanking. Back more. Fucking he's got a <laughs> Right? It's it's he's a trap so fat. So is he fuck? He looked at me and he got out and pulled the gun. <laughs> you emptying the clip. So I was like, right. So, the, so the fans have took guns to the game? It's fucking compulsory, mate. <laughs> <laughs> like compulsory. They are, you can, you forget know, you, you know the frisk and all. You can forget all that. 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 Forget all that. Police are there. Armour vehicle, police, outriders, soldiers are there. <laughs> no problem. So I thought, so I, st I started speaking to Unal, who's the manager now, and he said, is your, is your, your missus at home? So I said, yeah. He said, you live in the apartments? She said, tell her to stay inside. Because when they drive up and down the strip, they let the Kalashnikovs and all the guns go, and people who get strays in the neck. Fucking 
Yeah. So I, I rang the missus. I said, love, go out on the fucking balcony with you for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> and enjoy the fireworks. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, no I didn't do that. I didn't. I didn't. I'm only, I'm only playing with you. I didn't. I said, listen, whatever you do, do not go on the balcony. She got, I said, because cause you hear a lot of fireworks. She said, yeah. I said, a lot of that's gunfire. She said, really? She said, I said, yeah, it's gunfire. So don't, you know, don't go out there. So, so you could imagine. So we get to the airport. There's 20,000 fans at the air, at, at Istanbul airport, waiting for us. <laughs> Pictures and you name it, kissing you there. The one you closed and... One game. It's, it's ridiculous. So we, we, it's, we're a charter flight, so we fly to Trabzon. 50,000 fans at the airport at Trabzon. We get there, two in the morning. We get back to the training ground, six. Training ground from the airport is 15 minutes. They just coach couldn't get through for Can't them. get through, you, you're doing interviews on the tarmac. Because remember, the press are there. The press are with you. So you're doing interviews on the tarmac. It, it's, it, honestly, it's madness. So, gets to the training ground, picks the car up, goes home. And we're in training at uh, 10 o'clock. So I go home, chill out, change, drive back to the training ground gets in <clears throat> so we have a warm down and all that kind of thing and um, I say to the captain Ogun the captain I says so how does the uh, chairman look after you <laughs> how does he look after you I'm from Brixton <laughs> hey, what am I getting out of fucking dough here hey, hey listen I'm not here for a fucking party <laughs> I'm here to have some fucking paper mate not what's going party. on no. what's going on so he said um, he said after training, he says, after lunch, because when you, in Turkey, you you can't eat until the captain sits down and eats, and you can't leave until the captain gets up. Everybody they want a mere captain. <laughs> right, so, right, right. So, but it's, 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 there's a lot of respect in that, do you know what yeah. I mean? That, that's, the, that's the dumb thing. So after we finish um, training and we, we finish our meal and the stuff, he says, right, go to your rooms and I'll call you. So I said, okay, no problem. So there I am. And it was... You didn't want to leave fucking training ground this time, did you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, there was no way I was fucking leaving the training ground. So there I am. I'm laying in my bed. Peter Melashevsky's laying on his bed. So I said, Peter, you've been here before. What What happens? And he says, he says I don't know what the, the, the bash can will do right now. I said, but, you know, wait till we get the call and we'll, we'll find out. I said, right, no problem. I said, we'll see. So, lying down, and it was the time of Eddie the Eagle. I was, because Eurosport was the only thing on the TV I could watch. So Eddie the Eagle was fucking about. <laughs> fucking about. <laughs> he was, wasn't he? He was yeah. fucking about. Yeah, he, was. he was messing he about. Was. He was Stunt playing to, at it, man. Should have stuck to blustering. <laughs> yeah, he was <laughs> playing at it. Man. They got a lot further if there were fucking guns going out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get my fucking pal. <laughs> at, the, at the car door, you would have fucking flew, mate. I'll tell you. I did. Anyway, next minute we get a call. Heidi Baylor. It's nice and soft. Heidi Baylor. So I said, Pete come on it's time to go so he comes out captain comes out of your room all the others are in their room so we go up so we go upstairs and we went up to the general manager's office and he's pretty much set the whole up. squad no 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 this is just this is just three of us right. the captain the goalkeeper himself and the hat trick scorer so we go in and I don't see I can't see Oh, you know, there's about six heavies in there. But I don't see no, I don't see no inducements. I don't see any money. <laughs> I don't see anything. So I'm thinking, what kind of fucking place have I been to? <laughs> Where, what's going on? <laughs> so, the, so the general manager there, he's got these little glasses like a teller. <laughs> Jambo sign. <laughs> <laughs> Jambo. I loved it then. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fucking Jambo. Don't know about that. <laughs> Mr. Jambo. Sign. So Sign. So nodded at the guys. Milashevsky. Sign. So. Ogun. Sign. So. This little room there. Pull back this <laughs> curtain. Not three goats. I've never <laughs> seen, I've never seen so much money in all my life. Cash. 
cash money. Jeez. Really? Cash. And, uh, it just, it just, I said, is this all mine? <laughs> <laughs> I went, no, no, Jambo, no. It's not yours. I said, all right, fair enough. So anyway, because it's Turkish, Turkish lira. Oh. Ah, Turkish lira, isn't it? So you, you need that much to yeah. make. So anyway, it was just filling bags, filling bags for all of us. Open the boat, boys. Fucking bags, fucking old old man. Is, it, is, the cha- is the president there? Then? No, no, he's no. not there. No, no, no. He's not there. He's in Istanbul. So... Have he sent his boys with the, yeah. with the, with, with the, with the winnings? With, no, with the fun, with the fun money. Yeah. <laughs> so, got sorted out. I'd sign my name, Mr. Jambo. <laughs> Not for you to pop. I, I've got my money. <laughs> I'll see you boys tomorrow. <laughs> but here's the funny thing. Open the gates. Open <laughs> the gates. Not, we couldn't even get to the gate yet. Listen to this. So, there you go back to the room and you get my stuff. And then I'll go down the stairs. Who's waiting for me at the bottom of the stairs? The masseurs, the kit men. Because it's their time to get weighed in now. The chairman's weighed in, but the players now are going to weigh in. You see? Oh, they're already oh, been oh, there. Are... No, no, not by the players, they have. <laughs> <laughs> not by the players. <laughs> listen. Not each. To everybody, there you go, boys. No problem. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna hold on for here. I don't even know how much it is. I don't care. <laughs> There's just lots of paper. There's just lots of paper, man. Do you know what I mean? I'm thinking when I get home, you know, in the films where you roll around in the mud, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. do all that. I'm gonna do it all, man. I'm in gonna do it all. Hey, in the past. Hey, I'm ready. I'm oh, man. I'm smoking notes. I'm doing everything, man. I'm gonna enjoy this, though. Like, get back, and I was like, oh my god. I said, let me look at what the rate is. <laughs> for the Turkish lira so I get down there and I start counting and I start counting <laughs> and it's, it's mounting up I'm thinking fuck it it's know, mounting up them fucking masseurs look how much money I've given them fuck <laughs> it <you know>. each <laughs> what I've given them is like 400 quid they, they get that a month just for the, as their actual salary. As their salary. They get that a month as their salary. So normally the lads weigh them in like 50 quid or whatever. I'm giving them 400 quid each. And I still had a good amount. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you the exact amount. <laughs> but it was a good amount. I rolled around in that for a long time, let me tell you. I did. I rolled around in that for a long, long time, but mate. But in lira. But here's the, here's the crazy thing about Turkey. It's a, it's a wonderful country. So when I leave the training facility, part the money at home, there's some bits I need, like food bits. So I went to the supermarket. So I went to the supermarket and the whole supermarket stops. I walked in, stopped. So I went around and I got some bits and pieces, got to the checkout. Loads of lira, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Loads of lira, but the lad just bagged it up. Took, took it to the car. I'm like, no, para, para money. Said, no, 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 no. Can't even spend it. Campbell, three goals, I'm thinking. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I wish I'd eat fucking fillet steak now. No, <laughs> no, you're going to like this one, John. So I thought, is that how they feel about me? I was like, wow. So I went to my mate's shop, who I'd got to be friends with, and he said, oh, he said, yeah. He said, you know that top I had on the other day? He said, yeah, from, from Cacherelle, pa- Paris. So yeah. He said, Cacherelle's open round the corner. He said, why don't you go in? So I said, um, I said I've got loads of lira here. I'm going to go and check it. I like them tops. So I went round and looked, went in there, picked three tops out. Cacherelle, you know, nice box, ribbon on it, all done. Just bagged it up. Just give it me. I said, uh, Catch Parry, you know how much? No, 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 gambled. I think it. Here we fuck. <laughs> no, I what? like this place. <laughs> well, me and him went around town, we were having a drink here, no alcohol, but went and had a drink, tea, tie, whatever, there. Never paid for a, a beat. Never paid a thing. We're offering them money. No, 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 no. But what tended to happen was the media cameras would turn up. 
wherever you were. Right. Yeah. So, the, so, so they, so they, they get them. the they, they get, get the advertisement. They get the advertisement. Ah, right. Yeah. You'd have been for the shop and you'd have been stuck in the freezer wouldn't you right <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ yeah. they exactly. fucking fill it states in that freezer <laughs> but <laughs> when you lose stay fucking in your house yeah. stay in your house it's feast or famine there's no middle ground there's none there is none did you ever get the point where the, the owner would refuse to pay you for a bad run of results or a bad loss or whatever anything like that well yeah that, well that happened to me because um I wonder how, by the way, just, just going back, I wonder how much he's bet with the other president. I know. I know. Did you ever find out? No, they wouldn't tell us. But what I did get as a special gift was um, I could use one of his jets for a weekend. Where'd you go? Brixton. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not quite. <laughs> not quite. I went to, uh, I went to Paris. Yeah, mm. used it to go to Paris. I think that, that, that must have been like fucking hell. Pr- private jet and that. It's nice, but again, uh, the the place is it's a it's a wonderful place. The people are so mm-hmm. so friendly, and uh, you know what a place that was. Honestly, for me, I really enjoyed my time there. I think I think it, you could you could have either have <clears throat> embra- embraced it or just gone fucking totally under. Yeah, because Trabzon is like a a working class town, like a bit like maybe Sheffield with the steel. Mm. So. As a as a as a boy from London, you want things to be happening, don't you? You know, yeah. things have to be busy. You, you want, resonate with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but that wasn't what Trabzon was. So it's either do you get into mo- that mode, slow down or slower mode, mm. or you know, or you are you totally going to go against? It's going to go against the grain. You're not going to like it. But as a Brixton kid, you know, I was you, you go, you make the best of where you go. So that's what I've done. I made the best of work. I made some really good friends out there. Had a really good rapport with the, with the fans. And then we went on a run. We went, we went on a losing run. Went on a run again. Played Fenerbahce at home. I scored the winner in that game. Kid Alpha. Next year. Really I'm surprised I've not renamed the, the city. Mm-hmm. Well, they still want me to go back. I've not been back since, so... You might get a little bit of footage on that at some <laughs> stage. I was going to say, can we come? Because, yeah, well, they want me to go back. This is under the carpet at the moment, but it's going to be out on yours, obviously. But <laughs> they want me to go and uh, possibly interview Daniel Sturridge, because Daniel Sturridge signed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, obviously, I've not been back, and, you know, Daniel Sturridge from the UK and stuff like that, star striker now. So, you know, they want me to go and so, interview him and stuff like that, so... Will he, will he be enjoying it? Will he be the same, same as what you were, do you think? I, I don't know un- until I actually meet. He'll be enjoying the lads and, 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 and that bit, but how Daniel, runs, how Daniel runs his life, mm. I don't know. I'll tell you this much, he won't ever have adulation like, like this, ever. And Liverpool Football Club, they, they love their players mm. and he's had some big times mm. there at Chelsea and that. But the adulation he would get just for even going to Trabs, and I'm telling you now, it's fanaticism, mate. It's mental. Did you embrace the culture? Yeah. So coming from Arsenal, we talked about in the first one about that drinking culture. And obviously, it's a it's a Muslim culture over there. No drinking. Was that? Was that? What? Well, full stop. No, I've been I've been I've been to Turkey already. You can have a in Tras drink, in Trasbol, was it? FS FS. That's a local beer, isn't it? FS. I can't remember that's, what it was. That's the Turkish beer, FS. Oh, so it was, uh, there was no real restriction or anything like yeah, that? Well, no, there's no restriction, but when you're in camp from Wednesday, you know, you, you, yeah, you can't, can't do speak, much. You can't do it, and, and probably that's the right thing to do. Mm. It's the right you thing said, to do. Obviously, you said you embraced it and loved it. Did your missus enjoy it when she came no, out for a... not really. No, she, she enjoyed it for a bit, but what you got to understand is when she's coming over to see me, she spends two days with me, and then from Wednesday yeah. to the Saturday to the su- Saturday night, she can't see me. She can't even go on balcony and enjoy the weather, <laughs> can she? She, she <laughs> can't even turn up at the training grounds because she won't, won't let her in. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But luckily, like I said, I met a really top top family. <laughs> Safi, uh, who was one of the boys, by the way, was proper. He's been his family, looked after me so well, looked after my missus. He had, he had three sisters and they used to take her out and look after her and stuff. So that saved me or else I'd be getting it in the ear all like, do you know what I mean? But that really helped me a lot. 
Very How long really were you there in total? Enough. I was there in total eight months. Season's 10 months, I was there eight months. Um, by the way, when I scored a winner against Fenerbahce, they made a song about, went to number one apparently. <laughs> about it. <laughs> Turkish Top of the pop. Well, I don't know if it was just a local, but it went to number one apparently. <laughs> and again, wherever I went, you know, it was freebies and freemans and all that kind of thing. And then we're gonna get to how that experience finished because I, I, this is something I really want to talk about because it was how it escalated was crazy. We 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 got beat at home by a team, and the chairman was asked, "What about Campbell?" And the chairman, I had a great relationship with the, with the chairman. By the way, made me use his jet again after the Fenerbahce, mm -hmm. when I was there, <laughs> which was cool. But he said something in Turkish, which is they say yam yam, which is he's going to eat the team. Meaning, he's going to do the team. He's going to do the team, right? He's not happy. No, but he's. This is the next game they're asking him about. So, he said, don't worry about Campbell. He's going to eat the yeah. team next. What the press then done, because we're going through a sticky patch. Press turned it on his head and said, he's called me a cannibal. And there I am. I got on from the game. I got into training the next day. See, I don't know Turkish, I don't speak the language, I don't read Turkish at the time. And um, I get in and usually there's between 60 to 80 press there. There's 160 press. I'm thinking there's a lot more than, than usual. usual. So I get in and get talking to Vuga and Unal and, and Shafiq and stuff. And he said, no, this is very bad what's happened, blah, blah. So I said, what's happened? He said that, you know, the, the chairman made a comment and the, the press have twisted it and said that he, he, he's racially abused you, called you a cannibal. He said, he's called me a cannibal. He said, yeah. I said, really? He said, news to me. Anyway, we finished training and they wanted to speak and the club wouldn't let me speak and stuff. So I went to see Safi and I said, Safi, what's happening? What's all this going on? So he said, he said, it's the press. The press are trying to cause a rift in the club and blah, 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 blah. I said, they do this. <clears throat> So I said, right, I said, because I got famously with the chairman and bits and pieces. Anyway, finished with safety, I get home. My phone goes, hello? It's the British consulate in, in Istanbul. Are you okay? <laughs> that's, a, that's not a phone we've ever had before, is it? <laughs> it was the first time they've ever called me for anything, like, you know what I mean? I said, yeah, why, why wouldn't I be okay? I said, well, you know, when things like this happen, it could go, it could go bent very quickly, basically. You know what I mean? So, this is this is getting political now. Mm. So I'm like, what? I'm just here to play football. I'm not here to to do anything like that. So, anyway, because it started getting political, the, you got the consul, British consulate involved, and all that. I get just the club suspend me from playing. So it's like. Right, so I come out with the team and I say, you know, we don't condone none of this stuff. Da -de -da -de -da. I don't have to do the right thing, say we don't condone it. But, you know, all I want to do is play football, that type of thing, in front of the press to make the, because I'm still an employee of the football club, yeah. and I? So got to do it right. I can't play, I can't train with the team. So I'm getting in in the morning, I'm training on my own. The team, tra then I go in the gym, then I get, Got shower, got up to my room. The team then come in and train. Team finish, shower, do whatever, leave. Then I go and train with the under 21s. <clears throat> so, through no fault of your through own. Through no fault of my own, I find myself out in the cold yeah. because of something the press has spun uh, and, and stuff like that. So, it. It can leave a bad taste in your mouth, can't it? But yeah. I, I, I choose not to have a bad taste because, do you know what? I had such a fantastic experience out yeah. there. So did, the, did, the, did the president never sort of just say, look, this is what I said. I weren't meaning that. Yeah, but it's already, the, 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 the genie was already out of bottle. Yeah. I read a, an article in, 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 mad, from it? English press at the time that said that was quoting you saying it was the biggest insult you'd ever received in your life so that never no, never happened no never came from me no never came from me but it's open season when it's stuff like that because you could say and do whatever you want mm. because I'm over in Turkey yeah. so the British press could be saying whatever they want to say yeah. at the time you know getting phone calls from all sorts of people you're right Kevin I said of course I am 
there I am in Trabs on. Fine. So what the what the um the the the, the ultra ultras said Nobody from the club are allowed in town, only Kev. Because you, because, because they, they know they suspended you. They suspended they me. I couldn't play fault. for the team. I couldn't help the team do anything. I couldn't. I couldn't even train with the team. So they knew I've been wronged, but they said, "Listen, the club should have." What they suspended me for? Yeah, so they true. said, "Right, nobody from the club." And apparently, well, I know one of the lads went in to pay a bill. They caught him and yeah, they punched him up, mate. They, no messing around. These these people don't play. They say don't come into town. You stay out. Of town. <laughs> That's the worst thing that the club could have done. Yeah, of course it is. But magnifies it. I don't it? understand why they've done it. But it? I don't. But you know, sometimes it, it's cultures. Sometimes the culture is to save a bit of face. Mm. And having a somebody as political as myself at the time on the pitch would have brought even more scorn on the football club so maybe they just they thought that was the best thing well, to do well that's the two evils type yeah thing. you know maybe so so you know it was only a matter of time that's when there was that March window transfer yeah. window so you're going on all this unrest so all this unrest and I couldn't play and I went to Istanbul Sport we played Istanbul Sport in Istanbul and I travelled with the team but I wouldn't go um, to meet the chairman the ne- the, on the, the day before the game because it was it was a, a media frenzy, and I didn't want that for the football club. Mm. I, didn't want, mm. I wanted it to just die down and play football. But anyway, so were you were you were you sort of thinking? Obviously, you're eight months in. Were you thinking, I can cut this for another two yeah. years? So yeah, it was. I, I I I had another year left. You enjoyed it. I was enjoying it. I was enjoying my football. No intention. We were like we were we were within touching distance at the top of the league. Fucking mad, so, it is, isn't it? You know, so you think to yourself, the press have done their job, but right, yeah. the, well, that's what the press are there for. The press are there to cause unrest, and there's big headlines, and you know, it's it's, it's crazy. It really was there. fans as well. The, the media must support that team as well, surely. Imagine yeah, but so yeah, but not all. That's not all. Not all. No, not all. Not all. What was going on? Not all. And as they say in in the media, the pennies might have done the sword. Mm. So you know, causing a stir makes big headlines. Mm. And it, and it, it it put paid to me at that time. Anyway, what happened was, my agent got onto me and said, "Look, there's five clubs interested." He mentioned Everton first, and I said, "Stop right there." I said, "That's that's, the one that's, where, that's where I'm going." I said, "I know the club." I said, um, "Big club," and I know they've been playing up front with Danny Cadamarter and Franny Jeffers. So I said, "I know, it's um, I know what what type of club it is. I know the size of the club." Yeah. But they've got no experience up there because 